And you know, uh, as Halloween approaches, sometimes this time of year can get scary for pet owners and uh, little guys. Yeah, even the pets, from candy Ooh. dangers to strangers in costumes, keeping pets safe and calm is a real trick. So who else do we ask? Veterinarian doc Dr. Jeff Werber, he's here today to, to tell us how to keep our pets healthy and happy for Halloween. And safe, of course. And safe, yes. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Nice to see you back here in person, I just have to say. Thanks for having me here. Can I so, just pause, is that okay? I mean, yeah. You <laughs> I, just, I, like, I, stop I touching the I wouldn't. I would just, you know, let him sniff you. Really? Yeah. You never let's know. See. You never know. Like, what but let's, let's, let's talk about this. Okay. So, well, so first off, Doc, what do we have to know when it comes to candy and pets? Well, you know, you know, tricks and treats are for kids, but not, not for dogs. Uh, and, uh, and the problem is that there are many potential toxins and dangers in candies. For example, you know, let's take the quintessential candy, chocolate. Right. And now they have chocolate with nuts. I mean, and here's some examples. So, so both chocolates and nuts can be toxic to dogs. Mm. Uh, there's an active ingredient called theobromine in chocolate. And the worst chocolate is dark chocolate and baker's oh, chocolate. Oh, wow. But as it gets to like milk chocolate and semi-sweet, right. it's not as toxic, but potential danger. Oh, if, if they consume it by mistake, how much is the dangerous level? Oh, no. So, well, it depends on the size of the dog. I mean, it would have to be a lot. I mean, that's the thing. It's one of the calls I get as an emergency. It's like, my dog ate an M&M. &M. Right. <laughs> not a problem, really. Come on. I just say, next time, save them for me. But, um, or, <laughs> or, or a chocolate chip cookie. You know, but, but it, that's okay. But if they get it, the problem is they don't understand volume. And not only is it the candy, yeah. they can't unwrap a, a wrapper. Right. So they're going to eat everything. And they can smell right through any of those wrappers with yeah, the amount of nasal receptors they have. So they can eat the whole thing. A Annabelle eats the Hershey Kiss with the wrapper on it. Of course. It. Oh, yeah. no. Of course. Yeah. And what's more dangerous at that point? I mean, it's a reason why we shouldn't necessarily leave the dogs out in the yard or well, animals or pets. Well, animals, you know, it's always safe, safer okay. to have them under control. And just real quickly, I want to talk about two other things. Raisins. Raisins and a lot of candies. And oh. be careful of anything sugar-free. The ingredient to xylitol is potentially oh, wow. deadly, and now they call it, this is really frightening, bark sugar. So you can read the ingredient, oh. it doesn't sound like chemist, chemical, it sounds like sugar. Bark sugar is xylitol, be really careful. Um, so, well, I was going to ask you about, like, we have all these decorations out in the yards. Uh -huh. Should we leave the pets out in the yard with the decorations? You no, know, I'd be really careful about leaving the yards anyway because you don't want them to flee. They get scared. People coming to the door. What's coming to the door and knocking on the door is not a normal-looking yeah. kid. I mean, let's face it. They, <laughs> they have scary. facial recognition capabilities. So to them, it's not a kid anymore, and they might get fear, aggressive, anxious, and they might even bite, so be careful, or they might flee. So things like this, like pumpkin, corn, the corn is the corn itself is fine, but not the cob. Right. And they can ingest uh. the cob. They'll eat it whole. They don't know they've got to chew it up. And pumpkin again, they might chew off large hunks that can become what we call gastric irritants. Right. So the trick is to try to keep them as calm as you can. Talk to your veterinarian. There's some great calming formula. That's what I was going to ask you. You were about to talk, tell us about the calming formula. Right. So, so this is a, it's called a daptil. It's a, it's a <laughs> pheromone that mm -hmm. keeps them calm. Um, I, I love things like natural things: chamomile, valerian, passion flower, oh. right? Um, California poppy, hops. These are all things that are naturally um, calming for dogs. And of course, there's always the drugs. You know, you, if if it takes Xanax, I think she. <laughs> Who wants to go? I'm going to put him down. Yeah, Hold on. I think he wants to go play. He right. does want to play, but... I, as soon as I mention he Xanax, he says, I'm getting <laughs> out of here. He said he wanted the Xanax. <laughs> okay. But I say, it like, and it works, it works often, but you got to talk to your veterinarian. And the bottom line is, if it doesn't work for the dog, you could take it. At least you can maybe handle the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, how about for cat owners? Cats are, you know, the big thing with cats is that I fear, especially black cats, yeah. oh. you try to keep your... For some reason, people, you hear terrible stories yeah. about people and cats and doing terrible things to cats, yeah. try to keep them indoors. And again, keep them, what cats like is string. So any candy that has string on it, like this, or a little great little munchies attached by a string, anything like that, uh, cats will love each string and they can get what's called a string foreign body. And it's again, potentially very dangerous, often leads to surgery. Yeah. We're, we're talking about costumes though, like, so, what do you do? You put costumes on your dog? I personally do not. <laughs> however, however, it, it could be cute. But <laughs> this is a great costume because it's not impeding their neck. They can breathe. They can see. It's not crossing their face, so it doesn't really affect them. So if you want to, you know, something like this would be very safe. Uh, but I would otherwise be really careful because, um, you know, again, you don't want anything that's going to make them more anxious when no. they can't see what's coming at them if they have something hiding their face. Uh, what about agriculture for a second? Because mm -hmm. uh, there's certain plants out there that can, uh, you know, for this time of year that but can also be dangerous. To absolutely. Us. Anything anything that, that is toxic plants, uh, fortunately, there aren't that many. The, the ones I worry about, mostly pumpkin and corn we talked about. So there are some issues that we just want to be careful. But a lot 
lot of the plants, though they're not toxic in of themselves, but they don't know volume. Right. So they'll just eat everything, yeah. and then before you know it, they get some sort of intestinal upset or a blockage. Uh, what about when the kids come to the door in these scary costumes, and that freaks out one of my dogs, Roxy. I mean, it's again, from a facial recognition standpoint, they know what kids look like. They're usually good with kids. Right. They're good with your kids' friends. But someone coming to the door with this mask on and a funny costume. It's alarming. It's alarming, and that's you, you never know a dog. They can either bolt yeah. or they can you know, make sure they have their ID on because dogs oftentimes will try to run yep. and make sure they have their collar, microchip, and it's very important, keep your information updated. Yes, please. I've, I've had people that's why you're here, in, which is why we love it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Is that, is that what they do? They have a microchip that was done, you know, eight years ago. Not the right they moved number. four times no. and they still have the original address. Right. All right. Thank you so much for Thank coming in today. Dr. And you're always full of good advice. And for more information about Dr. Jeff, follow him on social media, Facebook, and Instagram. And you've really stepped up your, your game on Instagram. Well, so I, 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 I advise was you. Was he a good follow? follow? You got oh, yeah. drjeff.com. I got wow. Dr. Jeff. Oh, Dr. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> but you can always get me Jeff at airvet.com, which is our telemedicine platform. I'm all over the place. You're fantastic. Oh, it's lovely Thank to you. see you. Thanks so much for coming. We'll be right back.